Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Paradise Killer. Does this seem loud to you guys? All of a sudden? Just the fucking weird sound settings in this game. Um, so I do apologize for the qual- Oh my fucking god with these birds! <laughs> okay, whew, Jesus. Alright. I guess the game doesn't really expect you to stand in one place to give a, and give a monologue, does it? So, start over. Take a deep breath here. As I was saying... <clears throat> okay, had to do a quick pause. <laughs> What a fucking start! Here I am trying to apologize for the late, la, uh, for the last episode's quality, and it's fucking raining really loudly indoors now. I, I'm, I'm going crazy here, everybody. I, I'm just, I'm gonna have to turn. This has got to be turned off. <laughs> this one. How is rain not ambience? How is rain sound effects? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to just restart over. I'm not. You're going to have to bear with me because now you'll know why my attitude is the way it is. Because if I just start the recording over again, I'm going to be really irritated and you won't know why. But okay. Anyways. And, and the reason I had to pause there um, is my boss contacted me. Um, it's a you know a day before holiday, but sure. Um, <laughs> all right, so I do apologize for the quality of the last episode. I was not up to snuff. Um, so far, my nose hasn't attacked me so today, so that's um, a plus from yesterday. Um, I got really irritated at the game, uh, but I do want to say I've been thinking about it a bit more. And I think I was right that there needs to be more cases. I think that's what's kind of like... If if this case ended like within the next hour, I think that would probably be the perfect amount for this case. Um, but I know it's going to be dragged out. So I think that's that's sort of what I was dreading last episode because I really want to love this. And then let's say you know the game was like three case, three major cases, right? Um, and the and time progressed as that went on. I would like to see that because I would like to see her live on the island a bit um, and not everyone just be like yelling at me all the time and like have things happen in this cool world that they've bit, built because right now like we're going to solve the case and the game's going to be over and this world's going to be done with we won't see what happens here going forward um, and I'm sure they'll make you know I don't know how successful this was but I'm sure they'll make like sequels and DLC it's just the type of game I, I think DLC probably is a good option for it just add another case in right um, so, so that's, that's kind of what I was getting at last, last episode. Um, and I think that's, I think that's correct. Correct way of thinking about that. Here we are, we're in space. We have a space helmet, so. Oh yeah, this thing. <laughs> Look at <laughs> space helmet. I have not seen these symbols before. There might be a clue on the island. I I don't know that there is, to be completely honest with you. Snake, snake, bird, bull, scholar. So we've got to we've got to press the correct buttons here, and then this thing opens. Is there another seal, or is this the last one? However, will we unlock this? There's no clues here either. Which is a bit weird, I think. There should be some clue here. I do like that she automatically put the space helmet on. Didn't even like have to be like, oh, I can't breathe. Oh wait, I have the space helmet. It's just like, come on, let's just skip all that. We know we have the space helmet, just put it the fuck on. Even though that's not really how this works, but we'll just go with it. I have a bad feeling about this. I must have made a mistake. I need to figure out what these symbols are. Do you really? I mean, there's only four of them. Can we just brute force our way through? 
That's what we did with all the other fucking. Like, why is this different from those st that stupid skull I puzzle? Have a bad feeling about this. I don't think it's gonna let us though. <laughs> I mean, what are the chances I got all three of those wrong? It's just not gonna let me, right? But that's not really how it should work. It should let me, unless there's like something bad's gonna happen when I press these. It should let me. Yeah, okay. Your cheating game. I think this is the first real cheat this game has done, huh? But maybe we can ask people about it now. That's we we've not gained anything else from that. I'm coming for you, Lydia. All right, let's just go to the nearest person. And can I investigate more here? Is there more I can do? Since I've learned some things. No, there's not. We still have to get in the barracks. We don't really know how to do that. What do we got over here? Have we been over here? Is this where that um last kiss or whatever her name was? Was that? Yeah, it was. I don't think we need to go back up there. So quiet. Is it the ambience that's missing? Ambiance? Turn that back up, maybe. Alright, that's fine for now. Yeah. See, how is this? Now, this is uh, ambiance, but not sound effects. But the rain sound effects. And the crows are sound effects. Sure. Sure. I've got a lot of people to talk to on on the other side of the island. I guess we can talk to these suckers. Doom Jazz. I'll go to jump down and talk to Doom Jazz. Why not? No, I want to jump. See if we can make this. Hiya! Uh oh, I forget. Oh, okay, we hit the wall. On purpose. You examined Grace Bloodlines when Henry killed her, right, Doc? A nasty one for sure. Was there anything odd about the scene of the My or boy. the victim? You mean odd for a case of demonic possession? I didn't get to examine the scene for long. Akiko was in a rush to contain the area, and it was a pretty open and shut case. The markings on Grace were strange, though. In what way? Henry's other victim, his mother, had the same sigils scorched into her skin as Henry. Grace had those sigils, but they weren't scorched. They looked like they had been carved with a blade. The demon inside Henry burns with a com cosmic fire, and Henry's victims received the same branding. So if he killed the council, they'd all carry the sigils? Depends on how he did it. I don't have a lot of evidence to support this, but I expect the sigils to only be scorched on victims he had sustained close contact with. A cut and run probably wouldn't do it, but a strangulation would. I should mention that I would expect the inhibitors to prevent or limit the scorching of those sigils into victims. So why were Grace's sigils cut into her? I wrote it off at to the madness of demonic possession. We don't know a lot about this kind of thing, so I figured he carved them himself as some kind of ritual. I can't say for sure, though. Thanks for your help, Doc. Contradicted the report about Grace's murder. Carved into her with a blade. Oh, we don't want to hang out with him. That's for god damn sure. Guess we've got to go back up there, huh? There's nothing for us down. Now these sound effects are off. I think that's also what's kind of. Maybe if I just, since that was at 50%, that was the problem, wasn't it? There we go. Everything's level now. What do we even have to talk to Carmelina about? I don't even know. Where's the... 
little area at. Do we have a le reason to go back to the library? I don't think we do, you know? I don't think we really do. Halt. What do you want? Shut up. Just shut the fuck up, dude. She seems to be totally innocent so far. Why did you go to Henry's exorcism? I have an acute interest! Oh, sorry. I ha- I don't know what her voice was. I have a, an acute interest in preventing the islands from succumbing to demonic corruption. It is rare to be able to see the effects of a possession firsthand. I don't know. That's just my default girl voice. La 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 la. It's the li I thought the library was up here, right? Just gonna double check. Just gonna double check. I don't really get the whole vision engine thing. Okay. Seems to be no reason to ever come back to these type of things. We also need to find um, a worship nightmare computer and the pyramid sigil. Those are two very important things. So far I think we've only seen worship when associated with pyramid. I have no idea where the other one could possibly be. I mean we found the fucking worship one in a fucking vending machine. So we really need to talk to Akiko and Henry. Let's fast travel over there. That's a for sure we need to talk to those suckers. Shut up, Lydia. I know you're a bad person. I'm angry with you. No chit chat, motherfucker. Okay, go! But as usual, we'll fart in her face and then go talk to Henry. Let her think about that for a moment. What can you tell me about the murder of Grace Bloodlines? I killed her, didn't I? You were found guilty of Not it. A fucking thing. You know I did it. Did you strangle her? That's what everyone says! No memory. Uh, Not a fucking thing! Fight. If I'm the suspect in so many crimes, I must be the bad guy, right? That's what I'm here to find out. What's up with you? little ch chit chatty um, I'm getting a picture of the island I understand the crucible of crime better like what you see the islands can't continue like this how are you going to fix it that's a job for the next island I need to find the truth first you promise you're going to do something I'll do what I can the syndicate is a slow ship to turn I hope you'll whatever stick to that you fucking say. whatever hangout max we've maxed our hangout I wonder if I'm really missing out. It seems like I don't uh, if I'm missing out by not hanging out with everybody, but I really don't want to play these type of games like that. I don't want to play uh, any game where it's like it's like The Sims, right? When you play The Sims and you're like um trying to get married to someone, you just click the button 20 times they'll like you eventually or give them enough gifts they'll like you eventually and then you get married and there's no nothing no real game there it's just it's basically a click simulator at that point right there's no like figuring out what the per I mean there is I guess a little bit but at the same time it's like no matter how much they hate you in that game you can eventually I just don't want to check every box just to check it because that's not how you would really do this type of thing and for me it's all about immersion because um, otherwise I'm just not interested I don't think that well, well we'll keep on this because of this is the line we're on right now what can you tell me about the demonic sigils and Grace's body? She's going to call me an Inarosito. She's going to call me a bunch of names. And she's going to have an attitude. The same is found on Henry's mother. I've been told they weren't. 
Rena Division sigils were scorched onto her by sustained close proximity to Henry. Graces were carved into her flesh. Got any proof? No solid proof, just a bit of testimony. Were you carrying a blade when you arrested Henry? Of course. I always carry my sword and combat knife. Did you find a blade on Henry when you arrested him or after he had killed Grace? No. So how did the sigils get carved into her body? No idea. Demons? Thanks for the insight. Bitch. Heat, heat on the street. Heat on the street is that you're trying to expand the responsibilities of the marshals. You want to fold exorcism into the duties oh, of the marshals. Sure would be helpful if a demonic threat killed our exorcists. I should kill you for that accusation. D during Henry's exorcism ten years ago, you left Grace bloodlines alone with him. Why are we talking about this? How does this relate to the council murder? That's what I'm trying to find out. Yes, I made a mistake. This seems to be a pattern. Oh, I don't get a response to that? Where, Where did you say you were when you Do phoned you witness? You make my life unbearable. That's an investigator's job. I called him as I left the desolation cell. Well, I've been able to access your phone records. They say you were elsewhere. Where? Paradise feels wrong. Why don't you tell me where you really were? I was here. How did you access that data? Running witnesses' phone through a comms tower. You tried to tr backtrace the position of an encrypted phone through a comms tower? Of course the location is different. <laughs> of course. The encryption bounces the signal around. I'll take your word for it. I mean, it didn't bounce anyone else's signal around. What about you wanting to expand the role of the marshals? Where have you pulled that from? You want exorcism to be a martial role. It makes sense. We hunt them. Might as well do the next step. Sounds to me you're making a land grab to boost the importance of the marshals. Believe what you want. Peace out, bitch. Alright, we've got Witness Lydia Crimson. What places have we not explored yet, really? I mean, we've got the yacht. Obviously, we haven't been to the pyramid, but I don't know any way to get over there. Um, we've been... Pretty much ever. I mean, we can't get in the barracks. Who would even help us get into the barracks? Cause, since Akiko's like never gonna assist me with that. We haven't been to the syndicate gra graveyard. I really want to talk to Lydia. Ow. Uh, I'll talk to her now. I'll talk to her now. I'll I'll put faith in our friendship. If I really thought she was the one to do it I would wait to talk to her until I collected more evidence but as we're told she's my BFF and she's one of the very few people who have been nice to me which you know she could just be playing me but we're gonna put my faith in my friendship that I didn't you know again hasn't progressed at all or you know I, I have real no real connection to but I'm playing a character who in theory has that connection so we're gonna go with it okay you know I could never really make a game because I would design it in a way I would want to design it in a way that I of course would play it but how many people would actually play it that way that's the real problem that these guys have to solve despite all my bitching I, I do understand that um, oh I thought this opened backwards for a second um, like I have this one specific way I want to play this game and it's how I think Lady Love would would do it but also be a decent detective as well cuz in theory she is. So I want to play as her as a good detective that would eventually solve the crime hopefully. Although if we fail, we fail, you know. That's something I'm willing to accept as well. Um I don't but of course like let's say that they do design in a game specifically in that way. Okay, all my dreams are fulfilled, but my idea of who Lady Love dies is isn't going to be the same as everyone else's. Oh yeah, we still haven't. It says it cries for light, but 
All I can think of is that means to shine the sun off of it, but um, I don't think that that's accurate because how would a how would the game know? I mean, this is just my point of view, right? Not the and it doesn't move. I, I don't. This is a weird one. What's underneath here? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I, I don't know. Wait, I do have a flashlight, but didn't I already try that last time? Pretty sure I already tried that last time. But maybe I forgot about the flashlight? Maybe if I get both lights... I don't know. Wait, what was that? I saw something flash up on the bottom. Am I wrong about that? Thought I saw some white letters pop up on the bottom. Okay, I think I just imagined that. <laughs> I mean, what could it mean besides the fucking flashlight or the sun? I mean, my thought is like you bounce it off and then, you know, there'd be some something, but I don't know how the game would even pick up on something like that. Unless there's a light up here, which there is, which there actually is spotlights up there, two of them. Well, 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 We've, we're doing some figuring. Some hard figuring. Um, now the question, of course, is how the fuck do I get to the roof? I don't know if this will be the answer. Because why would there be a roof access? Why is that different from everything else? Inquisitive apartment murder report. Huh. What this? Just a flashlight? I mean, a, a candle. Okay, ghost. What do you want, ghost? What do you want from me? Um, severed arm, I found it. Yeah, it's your severed arm. Can you give me a single blood crystal? Thank you. Stupid ghosts. They ain't worth my time. To be completely honest with you. Okay, there's roof access. I thought this would be more difficult to get to, potentially. <laughs> Plaque says the yellow goat brings light. The yellow goat brings light. The yellow goat. The yellow goat sings in the moonlight. Huh. Oh yeah, blood peeing time. I've got blood peeing fever! Did I finish my thought earlier? I don't even know if I did. I'll just assume that I did so I'm not repeating myself. Or, if I didn't, maybe you'll assume my point was actually a good one. Ha ha ha. Ah ha ha ha. I've solved it. Never finish your points and they can never be stupid. This is a lesson this game has taught me. Um. Wait, didn't I see? Yeah. I ran right past this last time? Huh. We're not even finding island sequences anymore. Have we found them all? Discarded pistachios. Man, I'm so glad that I that was a collectible. Oh my god, the yellow goat. The yellow goat, the yellow goat, the yellow goat. Oh hi Shinji. I 
always thank people without hobbies or natural murderers. If you have nothing to occupy the mind, it is natural to turn to murder. No, it's not. That's chilling, right? Scary. That guy next to you at work that doesn't have a hobby could cut you open. That's quite the logic leap. Can you prove I'm wrong? It's basic criminal science, love dies. Get it together. Later. Uh, no. No, 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 no. That's not how that works. I'm an expert, after all. Because I'm a detective. He's really good at jumping across buildings and finding food lying on the ground. Look. I, for one, have my mind unoccupied, because this is clearly how I like to spend my time. And yet, never murdered a single person. Hi, Shinji. Do you know where a uh, goat is? Don't ask why. Don't ask why about the goat. Hey, Sh uh, hey Shinji. Hey, love dies. What's happening? Just enjoying the island, you know? I mean, obviously I hate this place, but you gotta make the best of it, haven't you? If you ain't looking on the bright side, you ain't living. That's optimistic. If you're not optimistic, you've got a problem. Life's too short. All of us in the syndicate are immortal. Then you've got far bigger problems than being optimistic. Anyway, can't stand here yapping. I'm a busy demon, clearly. Don't laugh. Stop laughing, please. I see that you're still laughing. And I ask that you desist. So, so are we thinking the yellow goat is going to be located? That's clearly a fake out for being the yellow goat, right? That's what that I. That's what that was. You fuckers! You motherfuckers! Yellow goat. I can't believe they've made this a two-tier puzzle. And it's going to get me a fucking relic or a blood crystal. Which I don't even slightly care about. Oh, hi. Again, don't care about this either, but... We found them. I burned out all my, my looking for crests on that beginning one where there was just that one left. No, not never again. No, not never again. Uh, yellow goat? That said, like, I'm obviously going to do a, a brief look around, but we're not going to spend the whole episode here. We've got people to fucking frame for murder, by God. I frame them for murder, I shall. Fucking yellow goat, twat. Fucking control spotlights, how dare you? Like, where the fuck could that possibly be? And why the fuck would I ever care? Huh? You tell me right now why I should give a single solitary fuck. Because, in theory, it could lead me to a clue, because it's done that shit a few times now. But the clue ones were always all, all, all super obvious, right? Alright, Lydia. Why'd you do it? What do you know about the murder of Grace Bloodlines? Not a thing, LD! Do you often like to dress up in space helmets? What are you talking about, LD? I found a space helmet that smells of your perfume. A space helmet? Why is that on the island? You need one to go through the second holy seal. Did you use it to go through the seal? I've never seen a space helmet, never mind wore one. The truth are not the same. Then why does it smell of your Come perfume? On, no idea, LD. Someone planted it as evidence? You said your perfume is a u unique blend only you know the recipe for. How could someone else have planted it? Sorry, I can't help you, LD. Hey, you want to hang out now that I've accused you of murder? Sam would smell of her perfume. Eh? Eh? Deep factory nailed its meat. I don't... I don't care. Because none of that's going to lead to anything. Because nothing progresses in this game. I've had enough world building. I'm happy with the world. And it, and it being built. Um don't really care about whatever the fuck they were talking about. I think it was food. Um, we're ready to solve this crime, okay? And ain't no one gonna fucking distract us. 
or derail us from such thing. Still need to talk to Crimson, Witness. That's pretty much fucking it. Um, we're still, we've still got a lot of, got, got a lot of closed um, nightmare computers, but maybe it's the dialogue options that open up the pyramid sigil. That would make sense, right? To gauge progress instead of just finding it in a vending machine, which I'm still perplexed about where the fuck the worship sigil comes into play at all. In theory, that could just be worship sigil means bonus stuff, like not actual game stuff, so that would make some sort of sense. Crimson, I'm in the sewers, where are you? Where are you, Crimson? Uh oh, we still have to talk to Yuri too. Where's she at? Where the f- She's right here. I was sort of going in the right way. Okay, what up, dum dum? No, I don't want starlight skins. Do you know anything about One Last Kiss? Is that her name? She's good at hiding herself, but I've seen her. Do you know who she is? I figure some kind of spirit. I don't know who she was in her former life, though. What do you know about the murder of Grace Bloodlines? Ah, that makes sense. I have got something good. Are you buying? Do you think it's strange that Carmelina went to the exorcism? Seems like a dangerous situation for the architect. Very. There was a reason, though. Some syndicate members use encryption and messages to each other. There's a lot of politics and scheming on the islands, after all. I monitor any communications that I can. The network traffic is mostly boring, but sometimes someone forgets to encrypt something. While Carmelina was heading to Henry's apartment with Grace, she messaged Akiko and told her to step out of the room while Grace was doing the exorcism. Her so-called lapse in procedure was planned. Sure was, lady. Sounds like a plot to me. My work is never done. Have you got a copy of this message? Uh-huh. They realized the mistake and scrubbed their phones afterwards, so don't expect to be able to confirm this with their phones. Besides, it was ten years ago. Everyone got a Masahiro upgrade since then. Did you see Witness last night? I heard Carmelino went to visit him last night. You should speak to her. Any idea how I could track down a phone number? I have my ways. I can run a search for you. There's a service charge, of course. Of course. What's the number? 833-2112-ES9116-RD. Let's see. Nothing. The number isn't registered to a phone on the island. Are there unregistered phones? No. Masahiro controls the phone output. Everything is registered. I have a back door into the system so I can scope the numbers. Is there anything else that could have a number attached to it? Not a clue. You're going to need to go looking. Like an activate sequence? Oh, they're going to talk about the 19th century um, illegal communication. Someone communicated with the gods. Why was the invasion so bad? For this reason. Akiko has never forgiven me. Go save paradise instead of hanging around in a sewer. Aye. Aye, aye, Cap'n. You told me what to do, and I'm gonna do it. <laughs> um, so Yuri, Carmelina, do we have to talk to Akiko again? Cause I don't wanna. Damn it. Shinji. Mr. Shinji. You must be above. Um, I think I'm thinking witness is the next stop. He's pretty close, I believe, and got things to discuss. So I think we're going to talk to Yuri and the witness um, and then we'll probably end it there. Um, we're, we're, we're almost done I feel. I feel we're getting there. We, we do still have a lot of nightmare con sigils, nightmare computers with pyramid sigils to un unlock but I don't know necessarily how relevant that is. I feel like witnesses part in this might be coming to an end here. I don't think it's going to be him.
What do you know about the murder of Grace Bloodlines? Wasn't that case solved years ago? Doom Jazz told me that you asked about overcoming Henry's inhibitors. The end of an island is endlessly fascinating. A symphony of finales, all hanging in the balance. Having a demonically possessed prisoner is a significant risk. I need to know everything there is to know. So you weren't trying to find out how to overcome them to help Henry escape? Don't be ridiculous. How would that help our holy mission? Why were you irritated to see Carmelina? Is that what she told you? I was surprised. It's unlike her to do a social call. Why do you think she interpreted that as irritation? I believe she wanted to gloat about the perfect next island. I wasn't in the mood to fawn over her achievements. We have different views on the rush to perfection. Got it. I checked your building logs. Your story checks out. Of course it does. The righteous have nothing to hide. And yet? What do you know about the phone number? 8332112 ES... Fuck, I fucked it up. Damn it. I have no idea what that number is. Then why did your phone dial it at midnight last night? I assure you, I didn't. Why are we doing this dance, what? witness? What the dance? The truth do you same. honestly think I just pulled that number out of my arse? Watts over here and will accept no I idea as an answer? Impulsive. The council has been murdered. Everyone left on this island is a suspect. A lunatic, an idiot, or all three. I am not in the mood for Hi. no idea. I pulled that number from your phone. You dialed it at midnight last night. I think Carmelina did it. Midnight last night is when the council were murdered. I'm sorry, investigator, but I have no idea what that number is. Are you sure the phone records haven't been tampered with? There was no evidence of tampering. The records were accessed from your phone via a communications verification protocol at communication station 001A. Well, there must be some mistake. A missed dial, perhaps. Okay, sure. A butt dial when the council were murdered. That's the only explanation I can offer. You're hiding something, and I'm going to find out what. Let's chill. I don't want to listen to him talk. Um, so do our gods. Sounds like a burden. A naive way of thinking. I... Oh. Do you have something you want to tell me, investigate? To tell the investigator? It is about Akiko's phone call after Henry escaped. I can see you are working hard, Love Die, so I will tell you this. I worry that you are doing this for yourself and not the gods, but I am bound to help you. It is their wish. Akiko was supposed to be at the desolation cell, yet I couldn't hear the haunting sounds of that island, nor the sea that surrounds it. Witness? I already knew this. You need to work that out. Fuck you. Hey, listen. You know what? I already fucking knew that. Oh, you couldn't give me a fucking hint as to where she actually was? Like, just a fucking tiny hint? Wasn't there a place that I couldn't get into? Oh, yeah, it was the bar, wasn't it? Not not this place? Okay. Fine. We know, I, I guarantee you, Carmelina dialed that from his phone to basically say, Hey, I've got my alibi covered. Do the do. And they did the do. Right? That makes sense to me. Hey, do y'all see any yellow goats? I see a lot of blood crystals, but I ain't seeing no yellow goat. That there is for true. All right, Yuri, you fuck. So Yuri, I could think, I doubt he's going to be a mastermind, right? He doesn't have the, he's not a mastermind. That's not his character. Hired hand, like promised a seat on the council if they succeeded. Absolutely. I guarantee you that's his role in all this. Carmelina or Akiko's like I bet okay 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 before we end this here's my theory Carmelina wants to be Montserrat right and she can't she just actually cannot do it because of the laws so she puts together a conspiracy here's the conspiracy okay Yuri promises him a seat on the council if he gets the information from K-Hax probably doesn't mean for K-Hax to die I think I can make that assumption Yuri's just a brute he's a piece of shit and kills k -Hacks as part of getting the second seal information and the space helmet. Um, witness, she's framing. 
I think she wants to frame him and also get herself an alibi with him at the same time. Um, Lydia and Sam might also be framing them as well, or she might have promised them a way out. That's possible. Akiko, obviously, she wants to be fucking in charge, you know, like second right-hand man, um, increase her power with the marshals. Carmelina promised her that for helping her with Henry. Um, and then I think uh, Crimson I probably has nothing to do with it, I think. Um, not not directly, at least. Um, who else do we have here? Uh, Doom Jazz. I don't. Um, I don't think he really had anything to do with it either. Um, I think he. You know, they got information again indirectly. Got information and stuff from him to do the deed. But I don't think he was part of the conspiracy. Um, is that all of our characters? Last kiss, obviously a victim in all this. Um, as is Henry. I, that that's what I'm thinking. It's got to be more than one person, right? So that's what's making sense to me. I heard you're missing a ring, Yuri. Of what interest is that to you? Is this the one? Give me that! Uh-uh-uh. It's impolite to snatch. Want to tell me what it's doing in the fist of K-Hax's dead body? I have no idea. He made it for me and I lost it. Someone probably found it and gave it to him, recognizing his work. Probably. Anything else you want to tell me? I don't know anything else, freak. Why? Why did you shut the boat trips down early, Yuri? What business is it of yours? Just answer the question. It was part of shutting down the island, ready for the end. But why? It never normally happens and none of the other systems were shut down prematurely. Don't question how I do my job, freak. I had some security worries and shut it down. Did it have anything to do with the dead body at the bottom of the cliff? What dead body? I have no idea what you're talking about, but surely this is the jurisdiction of the marshals. You're supposed to be investigating the council mar mar murder. Moida. <laughs> it might be linked. Did you have anything to do with it? Definitely not, freak. A lot of bad coincidences, then. Must be as I laugh. I don't think he had anything to do with Grace Bloodlines. I've scanned your phone. You can have it back now. Believe me now, freak. My job isn't to believe. I need proof. And now you have proof. There's a 10 minute period where your phone went dark. Your alibi has a hole. Lydia told me she lost contact with you last night during this 10 minute window. She tried to contact you while she was waiting at the Paradise Gates just before the murder. And? Why? Maybe your phone was off. Why would my phone be off while I'm directing the fairy woman? Do you even think, freak? The reality folding drive might have disrupted the communications. At the end of an island, the folding drive does a final burst to power both islands during the transition. The radiation sometimes causes localized areas of communication and electrical interference. That seems convenient. What do you want me to say? Again, I don't I don't think that's wrong. I think he's telling the truth there, but I think he and Carmelina set it up so they'd both have alibis, right? Um, Akiko and Henry are doing the dirty work, essentially. Because um, that's their role in things um and i wanted to clarify why i think it's not lydia i think it's not lydia because i don't see her outright lying to me i mean maybe sure like you could you could you could say like they're promised the freedom so they're gonna go do that but i don't think she would just like blatantly tell me hey i have no idea why my perfume's on the space helmet i think she'd just be like ah oh, fuck man you know they, they they promised i don't i don't know i didn't know what they were gonna do with it i think she'd come clean at that point and be like Unless she's the mastermind, I don't think she knows about it. She, they might have, um, yeah. So that's that's my reasoning there. Um, okay, that's this episode. I'm back in it. I'm having fun. Um, I do think we might run out of stuff soon. Oh, why can't we talk to Sam again? That just popped up. It hasn't. He hasn't had that exclamation mark. Oh, we can talk to witness. Oh my god. We can talk to all of them again. But that's fine. That's why we're not gonna do all this in one sitting, right? Because going back and forth to people kind of exhausting but if you take a day break it's a lot better um so see everybody next time bye